All right, today we're going to show you a Royal Master Centerless Grinder. Uh, this is a model TG3 <coughs> by 12 or 12 by 3. So it's got a 12 inch diameter wheel and the wheel's uh, 3 inches wide. Uh, that would be the maximum width of the wheel, 3 inches. Um, this machine has a couple of features on it. Uh, number one, uh, it was sent back to Royal Master and updated with their uh, servo drive for the regulating wheel uh, speed, the RPM. Anybody familiar with the Royal Master the way they were before they went to this? You had a uh, pulley system uh, inside. Uh, you had to turn the hand wheel outside and then your wheel would go faster or slower. This is also equipped with the high precision or more high precision air sensing a dresser over the grinding wheel head. Um, and of course you have automatic uh, movement of the dressers under hydraulic uh, power. We have a hydraulic unit mounted inside the base of the machine. The coolant tank is right there. Normally it would just be tucked right up in here, but for the video we're, we're leaving it there. So let's go ahead and start it up. Start the grinding wheel. And your control here comes on, says it's loading. Initializing. And then you get this screen. Your servo motor is on or off. It's off, so I turn it on. And right now we're going at an RPM of uh, 20 RPMs. And you could also program some other things into here, like a part count. Uh, when you want to change the RPM, uh, that's the, the grinding. We have set it 20. And for dressing, we have it set at 500 RPM. So I'm going to hit the dress. You see the regulating wheel speeds up now to the 500 RPMs for dressing. And then we go back to grind. We slow back down to 20 RPMs. So that's all pretty nice. Uh, there's a coolant tank or pump. Turn that on. It's right over there. I don't want to leave it running, so I'm going to shut it off. And then you have your hydraulics, which controls your dressers going forward and going back. And this one. Now I'm not actually dressing the wheel, I'm just uh, at the top here is a micrometer adjustment where you adjust your diamond down into the wheel. You also have a spring-loaded uh, retraction uh, to take the diamond away from the wheel so you don't have any accidents. And then you have your adjustments here for your in and your out speed. Obviously, I'm going kind of fast for dressing. Back here, this is your in-feed unit or mechanism. We'll go over that in a couple of minutes. Uh, but I'm going to show you a cycle. Right now, this machine is set up for, uh, for in-feed grinding. This is the in-feed grinding. Uh, work rest holder or tool holder. You would normally have a uh, work rest blade similar to this made especially for your part, ground for your part, uh, ordered from Royal Master. And that would sit inside of here and your part rides on top of a very thin carbide blade that kind of rolls the part into the regulating wheel which keeps it spinning and it gets ground by the, the main grinding wheel. So after making your adjustments, you have a regular screw here, hand wheel with a screw. You can set your part to a final size. And then when you're all set and done, you have a little plunge grinding cycle. If you watch this needle here, we grind around down to zero, and then we back off. Uh, operator can hand load another part, or most people set up some kind of a system where they can push one part in and as some way to push the part out the back. So again, we come in. And we go down to zero. It sparks out. Now you can adjust how fast that feeds. You can adjust how long it stays at zero, how long the spark out time is. 
If you did have some kind of a loading mechanism, you could put this on automatic. And what it'll do is do the whole cycle, spark out, and then give your loading apparatus time to put a new part in, and it goes automatically on its own to grind again. So now another part gets loaded and this starts grinding again. Now that's automation at its simplest. Obviously you need some kind of a loading device and safety devices to know that it's loaded, loaded properly, loaded the right way, but there's lots of capabilities. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. So there you have it, that's the Royal Master uh, TG 12 by three. This is a really nice machine. Uh, you want to see what this looks like when it's feeding back here? I'll show you a cycle. The hand wheel doesn't move. There's a gearing, uh, a high precision gear type nut inside there. A ratchet type of thing or a rack is what I'm trying to think of. Once your part is grinding to the right dimension, you don't want to touch this because that will change your size. You have lubrication points, uh, two or three different spots where you have a little Bezier lube pump to put lube in the machine. Down here is your electric motor and your pump for your hydraulic stuff. Everything plugs nicely into this top. If you want to remove this stuff, it unplugs. So there you have it. That's the Royal Master a Centerless Grinder. Thank you. Okay, we're back for a sequel to the video you just watched. Uh, now, uh, if you have a good eye, you'll see that I've changed the work rest blade to a through feed setup. Now we're working with long wire, uh, medical type wire, uh, anything that you'd want to through feed through here down to very uh, small sizes. Again, you have the proper work rest blade made for your job. Uh, only now you're not going to use this automatic in-feed uh, mechanism. You're just going to shut it off and you're going to use your hand wheel here to dial uh, your wheelhouse down to your part size. Now this uh, uh, regulating wheel housing can be adjusted in this angle up and down or tilted back and tilted forward and also this portion here has a little bit of swivel. So with those movements you adjust how your wire or how your parts are drawn between the two wheels and whatever kind of fixture you have here uh, guiding uh, the wire through a guide. Uh, there's many ways of doing it, but it's the angle of this regulating wheel, the way it uh, touches the face of the workpiece that pulls the part through the two wheels. So that's through feed grinding. Now this machine is being offered either as a through feed machine or in feed machine. It's not being offered with both of these. So you have to choose. If you'd like to purchase both items, both items are available. So this is the machine set up uh, in your through feed uh, mechanism, in your through feed uh, configuration. Okay, thank you very much.